Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. I apologize for not recording last night. Um, so I was at a city council meeting um, just because it was an emergency meeting. Um, uh, the city I live in, ten, live in Hamilton, um, had their Pride Festival on Saturday and um, a bunch of fascists and neo-Nazis ended up causing trouble. Anyway, uh, long story short, it's, we did just held an emergency meeting to try and out, find out what happened and where things broke down. Police didn't do, do really a whole lot about it. Um, I wasn't there, but from what I understand, um, when the pre police managed to finally disperse these people, they took to the streets, they chased kids, 12-year-old um, kids down the street into uh, the um, martial arts dojo that my youngest goes to, um, only because they had... Uh, rainbow flags painted on their face. These kids were 12 years old, chased by adults. A uh, 15-year-old kid had, her, had their face punched in. There was a bunch of fighting going on, um, and the police didn't do anything to stop it. So um, anyway, we had an emerg emergency council meeting. Long story short, didn't get an episode recorded last night, but got one going on tonight. So um, yeah, uh, let's have a look at the SAR map to start off. And let's see here. We are at Maladar now. We jumped over. We were at Bede here a little while ago. Uh, there wasn't really any missions here, so I jumped over here. It was only an eight-day trip, which is why I came here, to keep us under the financial report. Um, we we're running out of stuff to sell. So, I mean, we've got $2.9 million. Not a whole lot left, but still, it's enough for another financial report. You notice the King Crab's under repairs here. Let's have a look at the Mech Bay. It's been sitting there for a while. I thought I'd reload it out. Um... So we'll get a chance to see what that looks like when it when we uh, when it finishes up here. We actually might be today. We'll see how I see how that goes. Direwolf's back up and running. It is not to where it was before, unfortunately. Uh, I had to steal a weapon mount, and that came out of the King Crab. Um, so we're just running two Gauss rifles, two ER large lasers for now. Uh, laser AMS for support. The heat sinking is actually pretty darn good. Um, so, I mean, this guy really is supposed to be the long-range fire mech. Um, I had a uh, TTS ballistic in here for the Gauss rifles, but I just changed it to the, the Clan TTS weapons. So, um, all the weapons will get the range and bonus increase here, not just the Gauss rifles. The Gauss rifles are getting a bonus from the uh, fire control system hag here, which is great. Um, and it's already giving a minus one recoil. These Gauss rifles, I think, have a recoil of one or something. Or zero? I don't even know. So we don't have to worry about that because weapon mounts are helping out too. Um, and two year large lasers. We got lots of range, lots of cooling. Uh, we got enough ammo for everything. So it's just going to sit back. <laughs> I, d I dropped a UAV in because we had a little bit of extra space. Um, I didn't really have anything better to put in here. Um, this looks the slick speed is what we had before, but it is giving plus one initiative for all lance members, so that does help out. Um, so we'll just have to see how this goes. Uh, the heavy improved laser wasn't so bad; it was a hit and miss. Sometimes, you know, at long ranges, it had a really really bad chances to hit. When it was close, it was actually doing okay damage. But I think I want to just use this guy as a long range fire support mech now um, to sit back and just um, fire from a distance. So that's what we're going to try to do with this guy. And I didn't really touch anything else. I know we I know we have to work on the Zeus. Um, oh, the other thing is too, when I was selling stuff in the store, I managed to pick up another ton of heavy Gauss ammo. So now we got three tons of heavy Gauss ammo for 12 shots, which we might put in here. We might put the heavy Gauss in the Zeus, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe redoing the Atlas, because the Atlas is so underwhelming right now. Maybe the Atlas ends up getting the heavy Gauss right, but we put it in the torso here and see how that goes. Um, so that's a possibility as well. Uh, but for right now, uh, let's take a few missions, because we do need some sea bills. Um, there's a few we can do on this planet. So, uh, the incomplete intelligence, we're going to take this one first. Um, only because this is against House Davian, not against um, the uh, Free... Uh, Saint, sorry, I keep calling the Free Rassel Hag Republic. St. Ives Compact. Um, so, we're probably going to do this one here for all reputation. This one here, uh, we're just going to do the, the same thing. We, well, almost the same thing we normally do. We're going to take this one, but we're going to split it like this. Take 2-9 we got tons of mech. we got tons of pieces. The only thing we're looking for is good cockpit pieces right now. So let's just accept this. And um, let's run the main lance. Do we want... Yeah, let's bring the direwolf back in. Sure, why not? We'll run the main lance with this one and just see how it goes. Let's take the Mjolnir out and bring the Timberwolf back in. And we'll go with the classic loadout. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, uh, Rhino managed to get the tactics up to 8, uh, which is good because I wanted to get the extra... Um, 
initiative for her. Six packs got his tactics up to 10, which gave him another thing of initiative, which is great. So both these guys are a little faster now. So let's deploy and get this done. Okay. I have no idea what that mech was. Don't care. Okay, here we go. All right, we ran into problems last time we did this map. Uh, reinforcements showed up over here. Uh, I think it was a Fafnir with the heavy gosses, so we gotta be careful here. I think we'll be okay, though. I think we should just be just fine. Um, so let's go and do this. Um, as we're moving up, I just want to uh, throw another thanks out to... Um, uh, Fist of Dorn for pointing out that my ADD got the better of me when I chose the lamb armor. <laughs> I thought for sure it didn't say anywhere along there that it required the partial wing system, although it does it does actually say it at two points in the description. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that, but uh, yeah. You know, when you're tired and you got ADD, you always miss things like that. So anyway, thank you for pointing that out. Um, I can't remember. I think I... No, I think I hold, held on to it. I thought it there for a second. I sold it, but I think I held on to it. Um, all right, let's see what we can see here. Wow. Okay. Shiz. Barbarian. Armored sniper turret. Long time. Battlemaster. Okay. Athena. Black Knight. Camouflaged LRM, which we can spot. And a sniper. Okay, so I think the long tom probably has got to go. 300 armor. So if we go six, that should probably be enough to take it out. Let's do it. That turret is gone. Well, you know, it's funny. The uh, well, the uh, the mechs are flat-footed, and I could probably target them. These turrets can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. Gauss rifle, ERPPC, Ultra Two. So I like taking these guys out early if I can. Now I won't be able to take this out completely. That'll be 260, 300 and something. Even if I Warlord, I won't be able to take it out. I wonder if we should do, um, I wonder what the chance of, this is the Barbarian, right? I wonder what the chance of headshotting the Battlemaster would be. We won't get the kill on him though. We have to hit his head twice. That's not going to happen, most likely. So, yeah. Let's go for this turret and fire. Okay, and Rhino, I believe you... Oh, you're in range. Just in range here. Oh, yeah. See ya. Nicely done. It is gone. That's a barbarian. Now, can we? That's the Athena. We cannot see the other turrets, which is probably a good thing, which means they probably can't see us in direct fire. Now, barbarian's a side shot, 99%. Um, we're going to do very little damage, 43, eh? This is probably 99% too. So 63 with the head. 20% chance for the headshot. We need two hits. Sure, why not? No idea if we hit the head or not. We did hit the head. With the large, looks like. Uh, let's reserve you. Because we may use you to sprint in in a second here. Good to go. Uh, let's not go too far. And we're going to Warlord this one to get better accuracy. And we're going to do this. I want this Battle Master. Oops, let's make sure we got the head there, not the torso. Okay. Let's see if we can get it. Yep, there you go. Nice. It's one of those mechs I wish we could get earlier in the game, but you know, it is what it is. Is that force? There it is. Bring you down here. Let's go against this sniper turret. And it's only got 300. We hit with everything. Let's warlord it just to confirm that we kill it. We should be able to. Yep. Nice. Enemy eliminated. 
Okay, and go after the Athena, I guess, next. Just simply because we can do more damage, that's all. So let's Warlord this, confirm it, offensive push, let's go for a head. Oh, we're just looking for better chances to hit, that's all. I think we hit the head. We sure as hell did. Wow, nice. Waiting for orders. Um, do you have the juice to take that turret out? You might have. Copy that. Might just have. Ah, uh, no, we're not. See, these medium improved are nice, but they're just not the best range. Ah, well, we wouldn't have had enough anyway. Okay, still can't see us. Um. Let's just shoot this Barbarian. Tags on. Receiving you. Moving to position. Wonder if they'll see us though. Roger that. Okay, that turret's gone. Turret eliminated. Don't really care now if they see us. They don't really have the juice to take us out anymore. Uh, we're going to try and take your head off. Because we good like that. Nope. Okay, Griffin. Take this guy. Hit this guy. Ooh, I don't know what we hit, but damn. Enemy destroyed. Wow, they can't even see us. That's fine with me. Copy that, Commander. You can't see? That's fine with me. Yeah, not quite. What's up, boss? Can you hammer this guy for me, please? Let's take the chance and take his head off. I don't think you'll get it. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> Oh, you got that right. You got that right. Uh, let's go for this head again. See if we can get it. I, not, I hit OP on that, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Copy that. Yeah. That's a miss. Yeah, you just don't have the ranged weapons, that's all. Griffin, on the other hand, a little different story. Here it comes. There we go. Order. I copy. Mm, no sight yet, eh? Order. I don't know. I think we get. Double time. Let's go. I think what we're gonna do. Standing by. I'm not, I'm not convinced there's not going to be any reinforcements. No, We're going to let um, Rhino go down there and identify those buildings. We'll kill them from back here. Waiting for order. Uh, let's reserve. Copy that, Commander. I need you down there to spot them buildings for me. Will you do that for me, please? You do that for me, please. Uh, medium. Large. Sure. One building for everybody, please. Fresh real estate available. <laughs> Commander? <laughs> Ten four. Why don't we have view visual Five. on this guy? Detroit. Oh, we do now. That's weird. Maybe she just didn't have the angle on it. Alright, you got this building. Okay, pack of sixes. This guy's all yours. Taking the shot. Leopard inbound, Commander. I'll meet you at the LZ. Oh, no reinforcements. 
Okay, increased by 35%. A million. Nice. Nice. Eh, no real XP, but who cares? Who cares? Okay. Uh, ooh. All right. Chance to make an Athena. And I think I want to grab a Battlemaster part. Um, I'm going to drop it in. I just want to see if there's any good... Um, Man, we need exchanges, but I hate getting these because they're three, um, three tons. Prototype heatsink kit. Uh, do I want that? I think I do. We don't have a lot of prototype double heatsinks though right now. We only got one left, but I think I want to get this while I can. That way, when we are able to build a mech and we got more prototype double heatsinks, at least we don't have to go looking for a kit. So let's confirm this. All right, two Athena parts, two Battlemaster parts, and some stuff we can sell. Okay, let's see here. So I don't know what... Let's have a look at what the Athena's got. Um, McBay's. We're going to sell it. We don't really have the room to keep things like this anymore, unfortunately. Because we want to get the Jormungandir up and running, but let's have a look. Oh, it's technically an archer, eh? I thought it was a light... It's 70 tons. Not a lot here. MRMs, eh? Um, so what has it got? It's got four missiles, six laser hardpoints. Pretty much a standard uh, archer, eh? Medium ER laser bright bloom. Plus 90 range. One ton, one slot, 20 heat, 28 damage. Damage fall off, though. Huh. Um, yeah, I don't think we're... It's nice to have it, but it, we're at the point now where we've just... Um, yeah, we just can't be switching things around. I want to get the Jormungandir up and running more than anything. And with this would just be adding to our monthly costs. We might actually get rid of this guy too, the Kerberos. Um, there's a good possibility. It's just running two Gauss rifles right now. And the BFG 9000 with no ammo. But from what I understand, we can actually use regular Gauss ammo with this too. So we may want to go ahead and do that. I don't know yet. We'll see. But let's get rid of this guy. Um, what can we sell it for? 1.3 million. Great. Perfect. Sad to see it go. If it was earlier in the game, definitely I would replace the catapult with it, but the catapult's already laid out. I'm not spending the, you know, the two million to drop an XL engine into the damn thing and everything too, right? So um, we could definitely make a better catapult out of that guy, but, you know, we got the catapult now, so we're fine. So let's have a look at the next contract here. We're going to go all rep with this one. Um, so let's negotiate. Just go, it's 15, eh? Yeah, let's go all rep. What the hell? This should be enough, more than enough to cover our drop costs. And if we play this right, we might not have any repairs. And I could go OP on this, but I don't think I want to. I want to kind of go regularly, well, not regularly, but a relatively fair fight. So let's get Judge um, and Gocho. These two guys got to be swapped. And Avalanche. And then let's run, let's see here. Let's run... The Orion. Um, I'm gonna go with the Orion. It's kind of a bit OP. Let's go. Well, so the, well, they're all OP. Let's go Mjolnir. Let's go Exterminator. Let's go Catapult, and let's go the Mad Dog. And we'll run this way. All right. Well, another base destruction just out of a different weight class. Ooh, a jungle. Look at it. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Good to go. Orders? Oh, you need to be at his range. What do you need? Let's get up here. On it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to go. You need to be direct line of sight. All right. Uh-huh. Yep. 
All right, let's see what we can see. Ah, we got company. Standard turret. Uh, Hetzer. Standard turret. And a flea, really? Oh, man. That's kind of disgusting. Let's hammer this. Turret destroyed. What can I do for you? Not surprisingly, we are way overweight for this, but whatever. Let's get down into here. Alright, what else do we got here? Arbiter. Just tactical missile carrier. It's a lot of serms. Light rifle, bombast laser, a couple of light AC5s. Rotary too, eh? Well, don't like them rotaries. Got it. All right, did some damage. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. It's going down. Now, should I bring the rain? I think I want to. Um, this has got the LBX 20. We should be able to just kill this guy, so let's just fire on him. I feel sorry for this guy. Yeah. Sorry, man. Made you a crater. You're a smudge now, buddy. See if we can finish this guy off. Wow. Okay. Let's go after this torso. Yep. Enemy down. So this is with the settings still cranked up to mercenary. I haven't touched it since the last match, so I was hoping for something a little more difficult, but not that much more difficult right now. Alright, let's kill this turret. I mean, we're technically our lance is rated around five skulls, but still hoping for something a little more difficult than this. Um, yeah. See ya. So we're most likely going to get reinforcements on this. Why can't I see the headser? Uh, all right. Let's just come up here. That's fine. Yes, Commander. You can see the heads are just fine. You get a head, sir, and you get a head, sir. There's one more turret we haven't killed yet. It's up here. Uh huh. Damn it, we took damage. Oh well, not much we can really do. Don't say things like that. Damn it. Wait, is there two turrets left? There is. Right, two turrets. Okay. Alright, two turrets. You take this guy. Putting up some big numbers. You get a turret, and you get a turret. It's all yours, girl. Show them what lerms look like. And the numbers are still rolling. Hetzer's all yours. Finish him up, please. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Alright. So I've been purposely trying to avoid... Actually, you just stay here. Uh, no, you better move down. I've purposely been trying to avoid uh, listening to things about the uh, new expansion. Because I want it to be a big surprise once Rogue Tech comes out. I've seen a few photos, you know, on the one uh, Facebook page I'm a part of. 
They uh, seem to be uh, really enjoying it. They've been saying there's been a bunch of crashes and stuff. I'm hoping the bugs have been worked out by the time we start playing. I'm sure they will be. Roger. But I want it to kind of be a surprise for me, so it'll be much more fun to play. Alright, let's finish this up and go home. Doesn't matter who we shoot at here. Payday! Payday. Judgment time. Yeah, just come get us. Thank you. Mission successful. Okay, our payout should be more than enough to cover our drop costs and our repairs. Let's see here. Hey, we got a heat sink. Yay! All right. 14.6, not bad. One day for the repairs. Sure, get started. All right, let's see what else we got here. Those are just two easy missions. Um, at least our rep has gone up now with uh, St. Ives. Maybe they'll let us settle here. Uh, planetary government, eh? Battle in the jungle? Local government threat. Let's negotiate this. And let's go... This is local government. We're not going to get anything really for this. Uh, let's go this route. I know we got lots of sea bills, but that Jormund Gundir is going to cost a hell of a lot to get that thing up and running. So let's go this route. And we're just going to wreck... We're going to wreck face here. So let's... Um, do something here. Let's bring the main lance pilots and let's go with this. Let's go with this. Um, if we want to go this route, ah man, we're going to just destroy stuff anyway. You know what? I think this should probably be enough. Let's make it interesting. Okay guys, here we go. Battle in the jungle. And we got... Uh, our positioning's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Could be worse. Let's just try and stay as stealthy as possible. I think the less we sprint, the better off we'll be. Definitely want to just engage these guys at long range. Standing by. Rolling. Okay, no sensors on yet. Sounds like mostly vehicles. Got a few turns. So, looks like enemy reinforcements. Why is, there not, why is there never any? There's always enemy reinforcements. When is there never any? Well, except for the last two missions, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. What are you shooting at over there? See, spotting some aerospace fighters or something? Oh, you're making me mad. You're just making me mad there, buddy. So, uh, as I was about to say, my 7 Days to Die series, uh, if you're wondering why there's episodes going up every day for that, I recorded a shit ton of them over the weekend. So, I got a bunch of them already in the can, so I don't have to record any during the week. It's going to be uh, Battletech all week for sure. But if you see them going up, that's the reason why. I'm not recording any of those during the week at all. And if I got lots of time this weekend, I don't know if I will or not, but I'll record another batch of those. That's one of those games I can just get lost in, you know? You start playing it and you just want to keep going. Because everything just moves at a certain pace, right? Oh, for fucks. What the hell is that? This 
Let's kill some more of these guys, get some eyes off. Waiting for orders. Get this fulcrum, please. How much armor does it got? I have no idea. Snub nose PPC, huh? Wow, that's a bad chance to hit. Oh, I still hit with two, though. Damn, girl. If we weren't so tired, this would be a lot easier. This was supposed to be a walk in the park. So I think we'll start pulling start pulling back after this turn. Let their fast units catch up to us quickly. We'll destroy them and then we'll just push hard and kill the rest of them. That guy's running. You just keep running, buddy. So he was their eyes on, looks like. Yep, can't wait till the new Rogue Tech comes out. I haven't been really watching the forums or anything on that yet either. So, because I kind of want it to be, a, like I said, with uh, the Battle Tech, I kind of want it to be a surprise. Just to see what we're getting. I just want it to be, like, you know, enjoyable. and It's funny because, you know, generally when I play games sometimes, well, not some, most of the time when I play a game, I generally never play the whole thing because I don't want to play it all and then Commander? think, oh, that's it, it's over. You know, I want to always have some content. Like, so when I was playing um, a lot of MMOs and stuff, do I want to go here? Or do I want to wait and see? Let's reserve. Um, I would play part of the content and even big games, right? Um, you, you know, I play part of the content and then if I start a new, new player, I would play different content. So I always felt like a new game whenever I started over again. So, and then I would purposely avoid areas so that my other characters could go through them. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of like why I like it, things to be a surprise. So that's why I can't wait to see what the next version is going to be like. Come on. Move it, move it. Um, someone mentioned too, oh, well, I mentioned like last uh, episode about me playing close combat when I was uh, younger. That was that was actually a Microsoft game. Um, I think I'm probably going to be getting that when it comes out, the new version of close combat. It looks kind of good. I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided. Um but I might be getting that, and if, if I do, I'll, I'll make a series about that, too. Uh, let's just hammer this guy. Wow, Griff, what are you doing, man? Mockingbird's like, you gotta pull your weight, dude! Waiting for orders. I used to play uh, Advanced Squad Leader, tabletop version. Well, it was only in tabletop. Most uh, most games like close com combat and stuff try and model themselves after that game. That was like Avalon Hill game. It was like uh, if you've never heard of it and you've never played tabletop uh, war games, it was probably the best tabletop squad-based war game out there. The rule book was like a textbook. It was huge. It had rules for almost everything. It was great. Yeah, I know they do. I think I, I think I got all the expansions for that. I still have the all the all of the uh, the boxes for that game, plus some of the other tabletop games I used to play. Uh, there was a War in the Pacific game called Flat Top. I've got that one. Um, there was an aircraft carrier one, still a Pacific battle called C V. C V is the letter um, the uh, term for basically heavy carrier in the US uh, I guess naval vernaculum or whatever. But, um, yeah, alright, we gotta hit this guy. Uh, but yeah, no, um, I got a bunch of others too. B-17, that was a pretty cool game. That one we tried to, we kind of roleplay that one a bit. Try and have, like, characters that were, you know, we would play all the time. Um, how much armor does this guy have? 250, huh? What if we just shoot this guy? 
Pretty good chances to hit. Let's Warlord it. Let's increase the damage. Not the Fulcrum, for Christ's sake. Dude, pay attention to what I'm shooting at here. There you go. Thanks, Griff. Ugh. Wonder if we hit ammo or something. Screw you and your swarm. Come on. What's that specter's going? Anyway, yeah, so as I was saying, I think when the new uh, close combat game comes out, I'll probably pick it up. You decided to go in the spore cloud. You want them? You <laughs> sure, man. You you enjoy those spores. I'll show you why I don't go in the spore clouds. Can I show you why I don't go in the spore clouds? Here it comes. That's why I don't go in the spore clouds. Enjoy that extra damage? You enjoying it? Hit. He's loving that extra damage. He's like, yeah, man, I want to absorb all that damage. Give me all the good damage. Oh, I'll give you all the good damage, all right. Ready for some more good damage? Here it comes. Enjoy that damage. Capitalizing on errors. Yeah, but you know, now that I'm older too, I don't get as much enjoyment out of playing um, massively multiplayer online games anymore. It's funny, my I guess, well, you know, my brain still works. I don't want to say it works as fast as it used to. It still works pretty fast. But it's just like, I don't know, I like games like this where it's, you know, there's those pauses and you can just kind of go along at your own speed and enjoy it and not feel like you're struggling. You know, Seven Days to Die is kind of a half and half game. It's like, yeah, there's combat and, you know, and zombies and stuff, but you don't always have to be in combat. There's like a lot of building to it. So it's, you know, you can take it at your own pace if you want. I mean, it really is one of those games where at a certain point, you know, you're pretty much going to die. Um... But, you know, it's still, it's a lot more relaxing, I guess. Especially the settings that I normally play on. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this Fulcrum. Fulcrum's got to go. Made me wish I took the Orion. I could rack the shit out of this guy. You know, it's nice having that Hyper Assault Goss um, targeting computer with the bonus Goss damage and everything, but this guy might be better served with a couple of Rack 5s. Damn you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to agree. I think the Rack 5s are probably, for the weight, probably the best weapon in the game. For, for the versatility, the only problem with it is you can't throw it on lighter mechs. That's the only problem I see with it. Whereas the, the ER large, you can. Let's just fire at them. So that's the benefit to the ER large. But I mean, for sheer damage output... You can get 270 damage, 300 with a Warlord. You know, it's pretty darn good in that respect. Um, this guy's got not much left in the front. Let's OP this front. See what we can do here. Nope. We get it? Yep, we got it. Okay, good. Got lucky there, I think. Okay, I got some eyes off now, which is good. Except for this little shit down here. Hopefully the chameleon's helping me out. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the new series. I think it's going to be interesting trying to have two uh, leopards off of the same Argo going to the same planet. Try to keep the same upgrades going. 
on the Argo. Both sides have to pay for the same upgrade in the same episode. So, they both have to do well. Yeah, it'll definitely be interesting. Eh, screw you and your swarm. Can you, uh, kick this, kick the eyes and the ass here, please? Thank you. Sure as hell is. And yeah, just fire. Oh, I thought for a second there we were going to get it. Almost. Yeah, my, uh, the original, one of the original series that I started playing on this channel was my, was the Civ 3 game. Because I had basically overhauled the entire Civ game, added new uh, weapons, new, like, new everything in, right? Or not new weapons, but new units, new techs, just to try and smooth everything out. Just kill this guy. Um, and it was designed basically so that you can get to the industrial era. And have kind of like a long kind of World War II type era. So like, you know, most uh, sibs will spam, spam certain units. But I made it so that um, you couldn't actually just spam them. So for building tanks and things like that, you had to have a factory and it would generate a tank every so often. So the AI would, you know, you, you're just not going to run all tanks. They would have infantry and they'd have a certain amount of tanks based on the number of factories they had to build tanks. And they, they built them because I made it uh, made it cheap enough and um, cheap enough and good enough reason for them to build them so that the AI would, would spam build all the factories. So based on the number of cities they have, they would have a certain amount of tanks, but then the rest would just all be infantry and stuff. So it kind of made it a little bit more realistic. Uh, let's just reserve. Let's just see what this guy does. Alright. Yeah, it was kind of fun. And then you had, I, mean, I had a bunch of special units too. Can we see this guy? What if we sprint? Yeah, no. Let's just reserve. So there was a bunch of, uh, you know unique units in the game um, that can only be built by certain buildings and there was only like there are small wonders so you can only have one of the building in the game uh, that's a lot of heat yeah well you know what I don't need to generate a lot of heat do I it's all yours girl There you go. Here it is, folks. Mission successful. Yeah, so the Civ 3, the, the, uh, the, you know, the different barracks would be thing for things like different types of tanks, different types of infantry. And there's only one in the game, and they were always special, so they, you know, you could get, you could get some pretty cool stuff out of them. I like that variation. Uh, Ultra 5, what do we got down here? Cores, XL engines, ECMs, NSS. Not sure who had that, but retractable blade, fluid ammo, LRM double. We got tons of this, right? Five. Swarm. We don't have a lot of swarm. Let's grab some of that. Oh, Thunder augmented. What's the difference? Five small but powerful anti personnel mines. Augmented Thunder LRM is better in the larger area. Oh. 
Let's grab that. That's kind of cool. That's like an area denial weapon, man. Sure. 10 radius, eh? That's pretty big. That's pretty damn big. Yeah, under 142. I knew it was going to be a fair bit, though. They were raining lerms on my head. Not much I could do about it. All right, that's actually pretty good for one day's worth of fighting. So let's get the king crab back up to the top. Six, seven. So these guys will be back in eight days total. Because what we're going to do, I think, there's not much left to do here. So I think what we might do. Yeah, there's a couple of three scholars, but they're not. They're they're for uh, the hour. We don't really want to do those. Uh, so what we might do, if we go to the star map here, if, unless I can find another like four and a half, five skull con uh, planet here in St. Ives, most likely what we'll do, well, there's not a bad one there. It's eight days away too. That's a possibility. Four and a half skulls. Most likely what we'll do is jump back here though. It's four skulls, uh, eight days away. Um, but it is like, you know, um, a tropical world too. So it's like, not like we're going to get overheated by going to like a lunar w world or whatever. Oh, this one's 14. That's 14 days away, though. I want it to be really short travel time. Um, so we can max out. See, that's not bad either, but it's only half skull. Um, so we can max out our rep with these guys in a very, very short period of time. Yeah, there's not much. So it's really three worlds, it looks like. Yeah, like three worlds. So it's this guy here, bead, and then is it this one? Yeah, Gurnet. Which is like a lunar environment. I don't want to go to the lunar environment. So we'll most likely jump back here. It's an eight day jump, which is great. Still keeps us within our um our um what do you want to call it? Um financial report. And we'll be able to pull off a bunch of missions there, hopefully, next episode. And what we'll do once we jump there, we'll figure out how many missions are available. Because uh, we don't, we need like, what, 2.2 mil for our financial report, which leaves us 4.2 million, 4.2 and a half. Um, we'll have a look at the Yorman Gun Deer and figure out what we're going to do with that. And the Zeus, because I want to pull the arrow and the sniper off of the Zeus, and we'll figure out a loadout for that. The Battlemaster I want to change. We might change that one as well. Um, we'll uh, remove the three PPCs. Most likely the two, ER, two of the ER PPCs might go under the Dire Wolf. We'll see. Um, not sure yet. Um, and then we'll put the Heavy Assault or the uh, um, Heavy Gauss Rifle in the shoulder of the Atlas and figure out what else we can do with that thing. Um, yeah, we'll do some j uh, um, jogging around. Put a couple arrows, probably a couple of arrows, into the Yorman Gundir and then some LRMs. But once again, like I said, we'll have to see how it goes. We might just load it up with LRM-15s or something, or I don't know. There's lots of space for lerms in that thing. Lots of them. So, um, yeah, we'll have to determine what we're going to do. All right, but we're going to leave the episode there for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments or uh, questions in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.